Welcome back, folks. This is Non-Farm Payroll Friday, and you should not have been participating in today's action, but in case you did, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> All right, so this is February 5th, 2021. All right, folks, this is the five-minute chart for Euro Dollar for Non-Farm Payroll Friday, February 5th, 2021. And if you're not ready, pause your video. All right, so we have the fair value gap premium high and fair value gap discount low. Those levels have already been made available to you in previous discussions. Pre-market, ahead of New York midnight time, we had a low, it was swept there. All of this was advancing prior to the non-farm payroll number. All right, so we have London open kill zone, displacement on the upside, small little consolidation drops down in here you have small little imbalance with this old high back here send that out in time in the imbalance and between kill zones so this is a dead period of time but it creates a mitigation block defined by the low and high of these candles respectively send that out in time we have optimal trade entry I'm using the high here and the low here to frame that. So if you put your fib on that on your own chart, you'll see it lines up handsomely with optimal trade entry there inside of the mean threshold of the mitigation block, which is these three consecutive up close candles. During the New York open kill zone, 8.30 a.m., non-farm payroll, numbers release, creates a buy side and balance, sell side and efficiency. We trade up to and then find support at the fair value gap discount low. So there's a convergence of bullish order block, fair value gap, trades back to the order block and the low of the fair value gap over here. Okay. Price moves higher, takes out a short term high, says offset distribution there, declines and traces and makes another leg higher and trades up into the fair value gap premium high. And again, these levels are already defined and shown to you in previous videos. So this week, we've been monitoring this. Remember, it was a target on the downside. And now we went below it. So now we're using it as what would be expected as classic support resistance. Pretty neat, isn't it? And you can see, obviously, the high at the fair value gap premium high was exceeded not by much here. But traded to essentially during the London close time period. So not bad to me. I still would not have been interested in trading this, but for illustrative purposes, you can still glean experience and understanding. Let's move over to cable. All right, here's the British pound five minute chart for February 5th, 2021, non-farm payroll. If you're not ready, pause your video. All right, similar situation. We have a low that was taken out ahead of midnight in New York. So we had a stop run. So there should be an ability for the price to start the rally. We've already went down essentially for the week and we have a small little fair value gap in here that I've not annotated because I wanna keep everything open as much as I possibly can and still allow you to add your own annotations. But we have a fair value gap here, optimal trade entry for Long enough a kill zone. Price rallies. Small little imbalance in here. Creates a short term high prior to this one. Offset distribution. Declines. Takes out sell side liquidity here. Between the kill zones. Market rallies back up. Finds support at the mean threshold of the mean threshold of these last two close candles prior to this run lower. So we have a low, high, lower low find an up close candle or candles that make up the highest and then extend that in time cut through candles sorry sam we're not supply and demand the mean threshold which is the middle of a order block trades into it here and we have a small little order block with a fair value gap there new york open from here to here optimal trade entry from here to here to here optimal trade entry rejection block 
mean threshold, bullish breaker. You can see why I don't have all this in the charts a lot. Another optimal trade entry here. Rallies off of, look at the bodies supporting the breaker. Then we have buy side of balance, sell side of inefficiency. Runs to buy side liquidity, we're staying above this old high. And this in itself creates a breaker because we have a low, high, lower low, 